What is the worst season of a good show? Leverage is such a good show and I really wish they made more episodes in its initial run. Season 2 was its worst season. I never grew to like Terra, and I just wanted Sophie back. Plus, it felt like they kept getting caught that season for some reason. Every other season was so much better. Season 2 of Promised Neverland. It went from an interesting and thrilling story on a farm to going through or skipping the rest of its arcs at the speed of light. Season 4 of Arrow. They hyped the villain Damien Dark so much, nothing Oliver, Green Arrow, was doing could match him. And then in the end, two words hope and happiness and voila, Oliver won. That really sucked, I was so curious to know what he will do to win, but power of hope slash love slash happiness, didn't see that coming. Season 9 of the X-Files. Fox execs were greedy and wanted to milk that cow till the last drop, they had no show to replace that would have similar ratings, if what I've read is correct. From what I've read, even Gillian Anderson was ready to move on. I still can't believe it. The X-Files without asterisk MULDR personally, I liked season 8 because he was still in it half the season and they wrote around DD's absence. And the S8 ending was more than satisfactory. But no Mulder all season? What were they thinking? Season 8 of that 70s show. I try to pretend it doesn't exist. Getting vintage. Final season of asterisk B-O-N-A-N-Z-A asterisk. Dan Blocker, the actor who plays Hoss Cartwright, had died from complications of gallbladder surgery. The series continued without him, and even mentioned the character's death in universe, the fictional Hoss had died trying to save a man's life. Yet the series wasn't the same without the beloved character. Many fans have never seen the episodes without him, because the final season rarely sold in syndication. The western drama was one of the longest running US network dramas of all time, and dealt with social issues such as racism in an era when most programs avoided controversy. Every season of Heroes after the first one. The lottery winning season of Rosine. It made me so fucking mad, not even close to plausible. It especially infuriated that they wrote Dan Connor as a typical cheating spouse that would fall for some bimbo, now that he had money after 25 plus years of being faithful to his wife and family. Get real. Asterisk asterisk and D then the insult that the entire series was all a story in Rosina's mind where she had made the characters into whatever she felt told a better story than her real life in the final episode pissed me off beyond belief. The final season of Castle. The season, I forget which, he was seeing a shrink. Where in Dexter totally negated slash obliterated the original premise of the show. Which was, in fact, quite a good premise. Edited to clarify, the question asked which season. Many people thought I was referring to the final episode, 